Lisa, I'm here from one and three and me, and I'm here to talk to you about the hardball tucker, which is an intriguing device that says it uh, replaces electric drills, wall plugs, screws, screwdrivers, hammers, and nails. Now, I don't think you're probably here, it's really echoey in here. Um, I live in a little of uh, house renovation, having moved, and I've sort of wallpaper problems now. I've stripped my floors and I'm ready to put the furniture in and hang lots of pictures and make it a home. Um, normally, I would use a big, big, heavy monster of a drill, uh, which, although doable, isn't particularly convenient. It's noisy, it's heavy, it's messy. Um, I have to have wall plugs and screws um, and all sorts of paraphernalia to go with it. So when I heard about this horrible tucker, um, I was quite intrigued. The idea is that we'll see replaces that and it's meant to be um, sort of easier to use, safer to be around um, if you've got children and um, less mess as well. So, so look inside, we've got instructions and the machine. Now the instructions I like because it's got pictures to guide me through it, which obviously makes it much easier for, for me. Um, and the machine inside, there we go, it's quite a simple it's a little handle that folds away and you turn and it has some little spare tacks um, which it also has in the handle, nifty. need to be tucked away, or oh, that's me being a bit rough with it, I think. Pop that back on. There we go. I think I pulled the wrong side. So it's got a little handle. There we are, with all those little tacks tucked away inside it. Um, it has some spare ones, and then it has um, a few little bags of books with three different types. I've got some large white ones, and then two little metal ones. Um, so I've got books for all the different things that I might want to hang on the wall. I think the idea is that you, you use the machine to make a hole. The little tack that we've got in the handle then goes into the hole and then you put your hook on the top of that and then you hang your object onto the hook. Uh, in the middle here there's a little hole where the drill bit is and it's measured just the right distance um, so that your tack will fit exactly into the hole that you make. Obviously, um, the instructions detail everything, but basically, as far as I can tell, it says that you mark the wall, and then you put the drill piece up to the, the mark that you've made, hold it and push it firmly against the wall, and then simply turn the handle. Um, the dust should be collected inside, and you can just tip that away. Fingers crossed. It sounds just too good to be true, really. Um, I'm a little bit sceptical at this moment because it just seems so lightweight. I can't imagine that it's strong enough to go through these walls, but maybe it is. I've got stone and brick walls, so uh, we'll give it a go and see how we get on. Right, I'm back again, balanced on top of the ladder. Um, I've read through the instructions, it all seems as straightforward as we first thought. And I'm going to put the hard wall tagger to a proper test now. Um, this is my chimney breast, and I want to hang a very big, heavy mirror. Now, on the hard wall tagger box, it says that it can take up to 12 kilograms. Um, I think my mirror might be a little bit heavier than that, but I, I don't know. Um, I haven't got any scales, I can't weigh it, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. So, I've marked the wall where I want um, the pin to go, and the instructions say to simply line up the um, drill bit to the position that you want the hole to be. So, I've done that to put on some little bit of pressure and to turn the handle. So let's see if it does actually work. Well, I can hear something happening. If you just heard that. The handle's turning really, really easily. I'm not going to push very hard at all. There's a tiny little bit of debris coming out, but not much. Actually, it does seem to be working. Um, I didn't know if this is a brick or a stone wall. But either way, I suppose it's got plaster on it anyway. Let's see, I'm almost at 
again, so it's been very, very quick. And I'm waffling as well, I'm quite uh, slowing down. That's it. So it says just to keep going until the grey meets the red, which it has done. And that should leave me the perfect size hole. And then I open up the handle, take out a little tack, and pop that into the hole. And if, I, if it doesn't go in, I need a bit of support. There's a little device on the side here that you hook onto your tack, excuse me, back of my head, and then just use that to push it into place. Um, and it's in. Now, I've got to decide what hook to use. I have thought at first perhaps one of the big plastic white ones, but the mirror is very, very heavy. I think I might be better off going with a metal one. So I've got a little metal picture hook here. Um, that came with it, so I'm going to pop that in. I wonder. We'll give it a go, shall we? I'm a bit scared because it's such a big, heavy, heavy mirror. So let's get this monster. Uh, oh my goodness, it really is a monster. Up it comes. Sorry, I'm not probably completely out of shot. We'll get that in. Oh, look, I've just chipped a bit of my paint off there and leave it. There we go. Right, this is just hanging on, um, well I hope to hang just on a, a piece of string. Probably isn't a good idea, but anyway. We'll give it a go. Let's see. I'll hook it on. And try and, whoopsie, centralise it. So oh dear. Oh my mirror is filthy. Wow. That actually looks really, really secure. I'm looking down at the um, the tack, and it's it hasn't budged at all, even with all that weight on it. Um, that's actually really, really impressive. Now I just need to clean my dusty, dusty mirror. Everything's covered in sawdust from um, sanding floors. Well, that's the hard wall tacker. Um, I I think this is actually simple enough for even my children to use. Um, they're 8 and 11. I think they're about just without any problems. Lovely. I hope that's been really helpful. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.